the automobile. It's hard to imagine America without it. Dating back to the late 1800s, the American automobile quickly proved to be the quickest and most convenient way to travel any distance near or far. But with cars surpassing 300 million in the U.S. alone in 2012, the level of gasoline consumption and vehicle emissions leaking into the environment has developed into a problem. While there is not one simple solution to the issues of today's automobiles, there have been recent developments that have changed the structure of cars altogether. The electric car was first developed in the 1920s, but with gas as the cheapest option, the gasoline engine ultimately beat out the electric car as the most popular vehicle option. Now, the electric car is making its way back to the surface with two of the best plug-in cars of 2012, according to PopularMechanics.com, the Chevy Volt and the Nissan Leaf. Leslie Grossman, president of Knoxville Electric Vehicle Association and owner of two homemade electric vehicles, shed some light on how the Chevy Volt functions. On the Chevy Volt, uh, it, it's primary, primarily electric and it has the gas engine as an assist when you get low on electricity. Uh, and you're going to average around 40, 50 miles to a gallon when you use the gas part. So the Chevy Volt is a car that combines an internal combustion engine with an electric drivetrain. Um, it uses the engine more like a generator as opposed to directly driving the wheels. It does have that capability in certain conditions, but it's primarily operated as an all-electric vehicle. Uh, when you charge it from the electric grid, it has a 16-kilowatt-hour um, battery where they use about 8 kilowatt-hours of that energy to store and drive the vehicle. It has a range of about 35 to 40 miles, depending on weather and your, how aggressive you are when you drive. If I lived in Knoxville and the majority of town drove 10, 15 miles to work and home, I could be on all-electric charge if I recharged the Volt at home and be paying a very small amount for my fuel, being pollution-free, um, and then if all of a sudden we needed to drive to Memphis, off you go. No range limitation. So it's a great in-between car. While the Chevy Volt does not solely rely on electric charge, the Nissan Leaf does. This small four-door car is designed to rely only on the energy provided by the electric charger and does not use any fuel whatsoever. The nice thing about this vehicle is if it meets your needs, then you don't go to a gas station ever again. You, know, this, you just plug in when you get places. The Leaf and the distance it can go isn't built for the purpose for traveling long distance. It's really an inner city car. So kind of look, kind of look at your driving habits. If you don't make long trips, or you have, you know, like if the Leaf is a second vehicle and you only use it to go to work, then you know, that makes a lot of sense. While there may be a significant difference in fuel intake between an electric vehicle and a gasoline engine, is there really a significant difference in the cost per charge versus the cost per gallon of gas? My electric car, which gets 90 miles to a charge, one charge costs me three dollars and fifty cents. So I go 90 miles on $3.50. I'm using electric electricity that's made in the United States. I'm supporting electric jobs. Um, and it's, I'm not emitting any uh, negative emissions into the atmosphere. Although there may not be nearly as many charging stations as gas stations across the country, the rate at which charging stations are growing is picking up, including new charging stations in and around Knoxville as of September 2012. Electric vehicles are still a work in progress. From what the usual cost of a conventional car is usually in the mid $200,000 range, electric vehicles price tags are more like mid $300,000 range. The price tag is much bigger. And so if we can get to a point where electric vehicles are maybe $10,000 less than they are today, 15000 maybe there's not quite as many bells and whistles on them. It's more comparable to a Prius, $22,000, $25,000, even though some of those Priuses are more expensive than that now. Then for your average person on the street, if it'll go 200 miles, they can get the return on investment. For up-to-date information and statistics on the future of electric vehicles, visit nrdc.org or etev.info.